Hello everyone. Today we have as our guest Mr. Rupesh Shah. He is a cost accountant and he has been working in this field for past 18 years. So he has a vast experience in that field. Uh, currently he is working uh, for Intervet India. Uh, welcome sir. Thank you. Uh, let me start with the very first question. What is this field about? Uh, what is the role of a cost accountant? Uh, cost accountant is a field of costing. Uh, this role evolves about product costing, services costing. It involves a lot of management accounting and analysis. This role talks about giving right information to the management about the business, how to improve profitability of the business. Is it, it is all about it. Uh, there is an institute called Institute of Cost and Works Accountant of India. Now it is known as Institute of uh, Certified Management Accountants, ICMA. The name has only changed, but the role has been the same. Uh, sir, to pursue ICW as a career option, is it a must that one should be a student of commerce stream? Uh, ICW is a, a field open for all students. It is not compulsory that only a commerce graduate should enter into this field. There are engineers, there are uh, science graduates which come into this field and they are well accepted, they can contribute to the business in the same way as a commerce student contributes to the field. So it is not necessary that only a commerce student will get an admission, it is open for everybody. It is a national level institute which gives admission to all the streams. So how important are one's mathematical abilities uh, for ICWA? And also if one wants to pursue ICWA, then which subjects should one choose uh, at college level? But, uh, Taking ICWA course, one has to be good at mathematics. ICWA is more related to commercial maths rather than the geometrical maths. But there are geometrical subjects into the curriculum, so one cannot ignore them. So mathematics has to be good and people have, should have liking for it. Additionally, accountancy and costing are the two subjects which one should really look uh, at 11th and 12th in their curriculum. It helps uh, to gain knowledge and to pass these examinations quite faster. You have already a solid base of costing and account in 11th and 12th, so you can really improve upon your scoring and passing percentages into the further ICWA examinations. Sir, what is the admission procedure for ICWA? Is there any kind of entrance exam for it? Yes, ICWA has an entrance examination. Uh, one can enter, give this examination after the 12th uh, examination. Uh, one need not pass the 12th examination or wait for the results of 12th examination. One can start and go for a foundation examination or commonly known as the entrance examination. Uh, entrance examination is open for everybody. However, there are certain exemptions uh, for certain class of students which for which they, there is no entrance examination, for example, graduates. But if you are starting from 12th, there has to be an entrance examination. One has to pass this entrance examination to go forward to the next levels. Uh, sir, what is the pattern for this entrance exam and uh, how should one prepare for this exam? Uh, the pattern for this examination is in four stages. After the entrance examination, there are two preliminary uh, main sub stages like intermediate and then the final uh, level. Intermediate has two semesters kind of uh, subjects, levels, and final has two semester levels. Each uh, semester, each group, it is commonly known as group, each group has four different subjects. So we have four, eight subjects in intermediate and eight subjects in final level. Uh, moment you appear for an entrance and pass out the entrance, you get an admission for the intermediate examination level. You have to clear both these groups or semesters uh, uh, and go for a final. However, in between uh, the intermediate, intermediate examination, you have to go through a computer training, which is a small training to get acclimatized to computers and a group discussion to, uh, which is organized by the institute. 
having done these you can appear for intermediate examinations once you complete both the groups of intermediate intermediate examinations one gets an admission to the final level final level again as i said has two groups each consisting of four subjects uh, after while completing these two groups one has to go a practical industrial training experience uh, so these can be done as parallel once the final examination groups are clear one becomes a cost accountant or very commonly now known as management accountant or certified management accountant uh, so what is the duration of this course icwa is a competitive uh, examination pattern a normal duration is th uh, approximately 3 and a half years during which you can complete your curriculum and become a cost accountant however being a professional examination uh, if you are not able to pass a particular group you are, can reappear for the group every 6 months so by that level by that nature it the duration increases however as as i said if you complete all the groups in first attempt then the total duration is 3 and a half years uh, approx there are two ways to appear for this examination one is you can get a oral coaching you can get a coaching in your cities selected cities from the uh, institute or you can do this course uh, course postal by postal communication also so if a student has an interest in this particular field then what kind of skills and abilities should he or she develop icw is a field of analysis it is a field of innovative ideas to improve performances i can summarize that way so a person who wants to be in that in the field should basically develop analytical skills he should have good uh, hand over numbers and he should like analysis by different methods by different view points he should be open minded for various ideas and innovations so these two factors are very critical for becoming a successful cost accountant and being a good analyst for the organization for for the job you do or for the profession you choose later on the part of the career so what advice would you give to the students for clearing this exam in the first attempt icwa is an examination of a professional level when they say we give ias examinations ips examination this is that kind of an examination so oh, yp students should remember that this examination clearance within first attempt is very critical agreed but at the same time they should remember that a failure at one time is not a failure forever there are a lot of students who have to appear for one or two times again uh, however if one has to really attempt to get a result within the first attempt itself one should really study hard on his own uh, a reference to various book materials which are available in the institute there are various question paper sets and answer paper sets available in the institute a lot of uh, new books are available on the market so all that can be referred this is not a college or a school examination with a one single textbook it, it's a multiple reference book examination beyond this preparation i would say one good quality one should have is a patience and willingness to work hard it is very important for this kind of professional examination and one should not get what is it depressed by a temporary failure there are a lot of students who go through this uh, difficulty but they come up they overcome it so one should have patience and willingness to go and win the examination so what are the job opportunities available once you have cleared this icw exam and also can one work uh, as a freelancer or set up his own business job opportunities are very ample uh, one can opt to work in an industry in a company or an organization on the other hand if somebody wants to set up his own business or consultancy this field is also equally good for the, those kind of people if you ask uh, talk about jobs in the organization jobs in finance 
sector, jobs in manufacturing companies are quite abundant. There are good people required for analysis to on cost analysis on how to improve profit. So there is a good amount of scope for this sector. One can even aspire to be a financial controller of an organization by moving towards this course. On consultancy or a private setup of business, uh, yeah. There are a lot of cost audits which government prescribes for various industries. So one can choose to be a cost auditor for different companies. Additionally, there are a lot of uh, companies who do not want to keep permanent employees. So they give analysis and improvement, efficiency improvement works to consultants. So one can definitely work as a consultant also in this field. So in, on the both sides, the job opportunities are quite ample and they are they're quite remunerative. People get good salaries and people get good consultancy fees also. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, today you have come here and you have provided us with so much information about this field. Thank you very much.